Welcome back to Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. It's glad you're joining us. Our guest is Gary DeLong. He's a member of the Long Beach City Council, also a candidate for the U.S. Congress. Sir, I want to thank you for joining us. If someone's a supporter of redevelopment, December 29th was a very somber day. The California Supreme Court affirmed the state's elimination of redevelopment, and then they struck down a law that would have allowed redevelopment to stay open under certain circumstances. Translation, no more redevelopment. What does that mean for Long Beach? Well, first of all, let me say no more redevelopment at the moment, but thank you for inviting me back. And I'd Please. say it, it's not just a, uh, a problem for those supporters of redevelopments. That action is a problem for all the citizens of California. Explain why. Well, because what happened was redevelopment was the city of Long Beach and many other cities. It was our best economic development tool. So as opposed to being an expense in these difficult budgetary times, it was an investment. You invest $1 today, you get $6 later. But what about the governor's argument, for example, that we don't have the luxury right now to siphon off property taxes, which is where the city's got redevelopment dollars, um, so that we can line the pockets of corporations who are using the largesse of redevelopment agencies. Well, so we don't have the luxury of making investments in the future. I mean, that, that's how I hear that. I mean, you, you could try and word it as, oh, those, those big pocket developers. But I can tell you, the, the city of Long Beach, that's not how we use the money. In the city of Long Beach, we used it to restore neighborhoods. We used it to remove blight. We used it to tear down that crime-ridden liquor store. We used it to eliminate that, that motel that was renting room by the hours and generating police service calls. So, so that's how we use those dollars. Now what? What is Long Beach going to do? Well, what Long Beach is going to do is, is, frankly, we were poised to have that North Long Beach and downtown area. We, we'd finally got it. We had the projects going. We were ready to have it take off. Now it's going to get it's going to get sidelined for a couple of years. So we're going to have to scramble around and try and figure out how do we fund that well, redevelopment what about in our in city. Unfinished projects like the North Long Beach Fire Station or the Coffee House and Fresh Food Store in Central Long Beach. For example, in the fire station, that project will continue. We have legitimate legal contracts. The, the, the contractors are there. The funding is available. We are absolutely going to finish that project. What we can't do is we can't do any new deals. We can't do any new projects. We can't start any new construction. That's finished. So what is the city planning, and other cities for that matter? I'm sure you've spoken with many uh, colleagues in other city councils. I have. What, there's got to be a way to try to keep this program alive, given what every city council member I've talked to has said, that it is a vital tool. Is it working with, the, with Sacramento to try to get them to create a new type of redevelopment? Is it creating an internal redevelopment agency and seeking uh, the voters' approval of a bond mm -hmm. to create a redevelopment agency? What we're going to do is we're going to hope for the best and plan for the worst. So the hope for the best is we're going to work with our state representatives. We're going to try and get some more redevelopment going again. It's going to be different. It's not going to be exactly the same. It'll be, have some benefits. You know, trying if there's some negatives, just try and eliminate that. But we're going to we're going to hope for that. And particularly in our case, we've had a couple of elected officials that actually came out of city council. You, theoretically, they understand the needs of local government. It baffles us why they voted to kill it. But nevertheless, we're going, to, we're going to work with them. On the other hand, we're planning for the worst, so we're going to assume that those dollars aren't coming and we need to figure out how to be more strategic and find alternative sources of funding. One area that we forget about often when we look at the redevelopment picture is that not only were redevelopment dollars used to eliminate blight, to build new grocery stores, but it was also used for affordable housing. Yeah. That element is now eliminated. That's eliminated. That's not coming back. Now, what you're referring to is the 20% set aside. So 20 cents of every dollar that came through redevelopment was 100% was set aside to do low-income housing. That's not happening. That's dead. Forever? That's, I mean, you, that's dead. You, can that's, Long Beach do something about it? That's dead. Why? Why are you so sure? Oh, we're absolutely positive because, it, it, candidly, while we're happy to take that on as a, uh, as a requirement to get the bigger redevelopment dollars, candidly, that doesn't move our city forward. I mean, the issues in our city is that we have too much low income housing. So if you, it's not that we don't if have you enough. had to predict a Sacramento create a compromise to keep redevelopment alive? Well, that would be the logical thing to do, so therefore I would predict that Sacramento won't do that because <laughs> when is the last time Sacramento did something logical? His name is Gary DeLong, member of the Long Beach City Council, a U.S. congressional candidate. I'm Brad Palmer. It's back to HLN. Hello. I'm Dr. David Horn, director of the Cal State Long Beach MBA programs. Earn one of our AACSB accredited MBA degrees to give yourself more financial security and challenging new career options. We offer an accelerated 13-month daytime program, a 21-month Saturday program, and an evening program that takes about three years. Three programs, one outcome. A Cal State Long Beach MBA with financial security and new career options for you.